Hi everybody, welcome back to part two of my LED lighting project update. Um, in part one, I went through a new light which I'd created for the awning. If you haven't seen that already, click up at the top here and you can see that right now. I've had a few responses back to that video already. Uh, I only uploaded it yesterday, so thank you to everybody that's given me some uh, comments, feedback and suggestions on how to improve it yet further. I've also seen a couple of other people who are going to take that idea and create something completely different with it. So that's absolutely fantastic. So I'm glad it's providing some inspiration. Anyway, as promised, part two is going to revisit these lights, which uh, obviously we made up uh, last year. And uh, we've had lots of people ask me questions about how they are being wired up. But before I come on to those, uh, you may remember that when I created that video, I alluded to the point of I'm not quite sure how I'm going to affix them to the awning rails. We had lots of feedback and lots of suggestions, and one particular suggestion from uh, David Bell on Twitter suggested I use these, some Velcro straps, and uh, that's exactly what I'm doing. I bought a roll of Velcro like this, and I'm going to glue two straps to each pole, one at each end, and that way it can then Velcro itself to the awning poles or whatever it is I'm affixing the lights to. So that's what I'm going to be doing with these lights. So you'll see that probably when we go away on our next trip. Um, so that should be those all fitted up. Now another question that I got quite a lot from that video was how am I going to wire it up? And this is the solution. This is all the wiring that I'm going to need in order to put the lights into the awning. Now it looks a bit of a rat's nest, doesn't it? And to be truth, it is at the moment. Um, it's a bit of an out of control mess at the moment. And it will be the first time I fit the lights into the awning. The point is that when the lights go into the awning, I'm going to cut all the wires down to specific lengths so that they fit in nice and neat. You see at the moment, I've got five meters per light of cable here. I just won't need that when the lights go into the awning. I'll show you exactly how they're going to be fitted into the awning. I've made a nice little diagram, so I'll show that to you now. And you'll be able to see that the lights actually fit along three poles in the awning roof. And I have an access point to actually plug the lights in using our little plug-in adapter. And that plugs in by the kitchen window, and then I can feed a cable out through the kitchen window and straight up to the awning poles themselves. Now obviously with the addition of the lights that I made yesterday, there's going to be one extra cable coming in, but I'll come to that in a moment. Now I've also made another addition to the entire project, and this is it. It's a little black box here with a plug and a socket at each end. Doesn't look like much, does it? But it transforms the entire installation. What this is, it's a remote control relay. It allows me to use a key fob like this on my keys to press the button and this switches the lights on and off in the awning. This means that from some distance away, I can actually turn the lights on and off from the awning. I can switch them on and off from inside the caravan, and it gives me really good flexibility. So certainly if we're walking back to the caravan, and it's all a bit dark, I can switch the awning lights on, and it's there to welcome us home when we walk in. Fantastic. You can buy these on eBay. They're not much money at all. I think I paid six pounds for this. And if you're interested on how they get wired up, don't worry, on my blog post, I've written a little article and it shows how these things get wired up. It's very straightforward. No tools are required, just a screwdriver and a little bit of cable and you've got yourself a remote control for your awnings. Now obviously I made some more lights up yesterday and those are going to hang in the awning and they are going to be incorporated into all of this wiring loom as well. And it starts here. What this is going to do, this is going to change a little bit. It's going to have an additional cable popping out of this end here. And the actual key fob itself will change over as well. And it'll be a two channel system. And that means that I can switch the strip lights on and off independently from the pendant lamp that we've got going on as well. Very straightforward. It sounds really complicated, but it's not. It's very, very simple. And again, you can pick these up for about six pounds and it means that we can then turn the lights on and off as we need them. So if we are sitting out in the awning and we only want the pendant light on, we can switch that one off and turn the strip lights off. Or if we only want the strip lights on, we can turn those on. So the two systems will work independently from each other. And if we want everything on because we've got people around, we can switch everything on as well. You will see all of this working when we go away for the first time with them all running. And that's only in a few weeks time now. So. Look forward to seeing that on our vlog. 
So let me show it to you all working. I'll lay it all out across the floor and you can see how it all looks and how it all works. Okay, so here we go. These are the strip lights that I made up last time. Don't worry about that piece in the background there. That's for another light I'm making for my son in his tent. And this is the actual wiring loom itself. Now you can see that we've got coils of cable here because they're ridiculously too long at the moment. But we're going to cut those down to length to give them a really good custom install. Now what I have done is I've wired them up to a switch and as you can see the three cables go into a switch. That's going to be cut at that point so that I can make each cable its own specific length. Going into the switch we've then got a normal power adapter and if I plug these in like so, nothing's happening. Switch on and there we go. You can see them all lit up. So that's the wiring diagram itself. That just goes into a normal plug, you know, a, a normal Walmart type plug into the wall. So those who follow me on Twitter would have seen me playing around with this the other day. Just plug this relay in here. Like so. And this is how it's going to be. So it comes from the mains into this little jobby here, into a switch and into the cables and as you can see nothing is happening at the moment pick up the caravan keys and there we go quite simple quite straightforward to wire up it's pretty good isn't it there we go guys that's the update of the led lighting system in the awning for you it's a very quick video today i'll grant you that but it just gives you an update of how it's looking and what the wiring uh, loom looks like and perhaps that's the beauty of making things yourself that you can make everything fit into your own requirements what fits for our awning may not work for you it may need to be slightly different but of course if you make it yourself you know exactly where you can feed the power from and how long the cables need to be etc I just need to make the final adjustment when we install this into the awning for the first time um, so I'll be taking a pair of cutters and a screwdriver and I'll just use some chalk block so I temporarily hang it together and then I can make the final solder and neat installation as well. The only addition I'm going to make to this, I'm just going to put an inline fuse into everything. So if there is ever a problem, I've got fuse protection in that as well. Uh, but for the moment, it's just very much a temporary setup at the moment. Perhaps the other valid point to think of as well is why am I running 12 volt lights from a 240 main supply? And that's a really valid point in fact. The reason why we're doing it is that we've got a very convenient power outlet inside the caravan and from there I can wire through uh, into the kitchen window etc and out into the awning. Going forward I'm going to change this setup completely and probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap into the 12 volt awning light itself um, produce a little plug and put that on the awning light so that all I need to do is plug the awning lights straight into that uh, one which is mounted on the side of the caravan and then I've got a master switch for the awning lights as well from inside the caravan. That'll be something else for me to do later on this year. So I hope that's proven inspirational for you. I'm going to write this up into a blog post as well so you can get the idea of where I've got the remote control from, how much it is and what you need to do to get it to work for your lights as well. And I'll give a demonstration of how I'm going to cut the cables up so that it fits perfectly inside the awning as well. So I hope it's been of use to you. Hope it's been inspirational. Very quick update today. And I will see you again next week. Take care now. Bye bye.